Our intention is blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. We shall be praying for all your personal intentions. The church celebrates today the memorial of the martyr Saint Justin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. On Pentecost night, I, Tobit, washed myself and I went out into my courtyard and fell asleep beside the courtyard wall and my face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know that there were sparrows on the wall above me and their warm droppings fell into my eyes and brought on white films. I went to the physicians to be healed, but the more they anointed me with their potions, the more my eyes were blinded by the white films until I was completely blind. For four years I had no use of my eyes. All my relatives grieved over me and Ahikar took care of me for two years 
before he went to Elumius. At that time, my wife Anna earned money at women's work. She used to send the products to their employers and they would pay her wages. On the seventh day of distress, she cut off a woven piece and sent it to the employers and they paid her the whole price and gave her a kid from the herd to take home. When she returned to me, the kid began to bleed. So I called her and said, Where did you get this coat? It is not stolen, is it? Return it to its owners, for we do not have the right to eat anything stolen. And she said to me, It was given to me as a gift in addition to my wage. But I did not believe her and kept telling her to return it to the owners. And I became flushed over this on her account. Then she replied to me, And where are your deeds of mercy? Where are your righteous deeds? Behold, these things are known about you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. All together. With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Response With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Response with a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. Open handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. Response With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. the God of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time they sent to Jesus some of the Pharisees and some of the Herodians to trap him in his talk. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and do not care about anyone's opinion. For you are not swayed by appearances, but truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why put me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. And they brought one. And he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. 
So Jesus said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading we find that Tobit became a victim by accident of blindness. But after being blind, there was no complaint against God. Not even for a single moment did he ever doubt God because Tobit was a just and a righteous man. This is nothing else but a perfect example of perseverance as far as faith is concerned, even in the midst of suffering and trouble and anxiety. In our Gospel today, we have the famous Pharisees and the Herodians coming to try and trap Jesus with a very simple question about paying taxes. And Jesus doesn't give them a direct answer, but uses a simple coin, a denarius, to explain what needs to be done. And at the end of the Gospel, we are told they marveled at Him. In our own lives, my dear brothers and sisters, we must realize that everything we have belongs to God. We can claim nothing to be our own. And therefore, we have to give God, in reality, back everything. We cannot hold back onto anything or even perhaps anyone. And therefore, sometimes there is always this grumbling that happens within us, the tendency to complain, perhaps even at times to question why God allows certain things to happen to us, maybe taking us away from certain things, or perhaps even separating us from our loved ones, maybe from death. And yet we must remember that we have come from God and we have to go back to God. That is our homeland. That is where each one of us belongs to. And therefore, nothing we ever possess, whether it's things or persons, truly belong to us. Because it was all a free gift given to us by God. And therefore, when God demands something back from us, we must be in a position to freely give back to Him. I pray that our faith come to our rescue and we continue to trust in God. and offer to him on the pattern. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good for his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, 
And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy. These gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Justin, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion, a merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and go with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us now to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom of the power, and the glory of now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. A communion it takes courage. It takes courage to 
Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I recess to him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.